Welcome Aquarius and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please note there are always timestamps in the description box for those of you that want to skip ahead. This is for the collective of Aquarius. Now what is going on here? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Ooh, okay. Okay, don't panic. People always see this card, they immediately freak out. However, I love this card and I will tell you why. First of all, we have freedom here. And then we have a year from now. Now this does not mean you're not gonna be happy for an entire year, okay? That means over the course of the next year, so many things are going to be happening, changing for you, so many opportunities. You're gonna look back a year from now and go, wow, so much has changed throughout this last 12 months. So many doors of opportunity has opened up, okay? Got a lot of progression here. So let us see. Clear messages and guidance for the collective, please. Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. What needs to be known, seen, and understood? What is the energy here? Now you definitely could be thinking about an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We do have the death card here, that is Scorpio energy with the king of cups, that is water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have the nine of wands with the queen of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, there you are. Eight of wands, we have the fool, that's Aries, and the king of pentacles, king and queen here. Under the deck here is the Page of Pentacles with the Queen of Cups and the Magician. Interesting. We have the Queen and King of Pen of Pentacles and Queen and King of Cups. Some of you, this could be a third or even fourth party situation. Maybe you're both involved with other people. I mean, that may not be the case for all of you, uh, but for some of you, that may heavily resonate. Um, I, I feel like this is going to be really specific. So if it doesn't resonate, please don't force it. Don't get upset. That just means that this is such a strong message for some for somebody in the collective. I, I think that somebody's leaving a, a long-term situation, possibly filing for a divorce, and that may take a full year to finally change, to be free to move towards you because you want to be with this person. Okay? You see them as the person that you want to be in a committed partnership with, this person you love. You know, you want to support them. You want to be there for them. You want to have a family with them or combine families with them. Queen of Pentacles, why is this here? Now, you know, I love Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, yes, it's earth energy, but um, this is somebody who's like a ride or die. She's not in and out. She's not inconsistent, male or female. It's somebody who's going to be there for you, who's going to support you no matter what. You want to have a new beginning with this person. You want to create this. Your fire burns hot for this person and vice versa. There's a lot of mutual desire here. There's attraction. But something has to end. Something has to be given up. And I feel like for somebody it's a marriage. Maybe two marriages here in the balance. Uh, but with the death card this talks about endings. Endings that bring forth new beginnings. That bring forth change. This is about transformation here. Ooh, and it's not going to be easy, and it is going to take time. It is going to t it require patience. This is really going to test the two of you here. There, listen, somebody is initiating some kind of separation. This may create a lot of conflict in regards to like the family, maybe if there's children involved. It could be a very sticky, very messy situation, and it will test your relationship. It is not going to be easy. It's, it's not like, for somebody, they're so anxious for somebody to file divorce papers. Again, I feel like this is so specific. So this, 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 this feels like, a, like an almost personal type situation here. This right here feels like somebody is so anxious for somebody to file these, this paperwork, but what they don't realize is, you know, yes, that may need to be done if this person is over with a past relationship, but they, what they do not expect or anticipate is how it's going to take a toll on the two of you, on this person, on you, on your relationship, on their relationship with their family. It's going to be very difficult. And it's going to be a lengthy process. There's going to be ups and downs. What you need to know, what you need to expect. That you're in love with this person. 
You want to be with this person. Can we clarify why the King of Cups is here? Okay, well that was easy enough. It's like you want to defend them. Like you want to protect their image. Like you don't want people to be hard on them. It's like why can't they understand? You know, people have such high expectations of this person. You could be thinking about a fellow Aquarius, or this could even be you. But it feels like somebody here is like wanting to, like very compassionate here. Like, I want to protect you. I don't want people to bash you or give you a hard time. It's like, I want to be there to support you through all of this. This is like, we both want this. Why can't people just let us be happy? Why do they have to have something the negative? It's like, you know, I know this is, a, this is a painful situation, but it's like, it's it's your life, you know, it's like your life that's in the balance here. Your happiness, it's like, why can't people not see that? Why is there so much selfishness for a relationship that they're not involved in? Because I get like an energy, but like it's external people. It could be like in-laws, it could be like um, co-workers, friends, people just want to have some type of attack the situation. It's like this, they're, someone's expressing, this is what I want. This is what I want to do. This is going to make me happy. And, every, and they're, so they're thinking that people are going to be like celebrating with them. I'm glad you're taking the initiative. And I'm glad you're taking the next step. That's brave of you. But they're not being met with that. It's not what they expected. People are like, how could you do this to so and such? You know, I know you said you were unhappy, but blah, 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 blah. It's like people are attacking the, the, your dream or your decision. It's like this is in regards to love. Somebody is following their heart here and people have something negative to say about it. Again, I get this energy here of like defensiveness. Nine of Wands. Like it's almost like maybe I should have not even told anybody anything. It's like is the coach really clear before anyone really speaks up about the situation again? Some of you might be frustrated or you may or your person may be that one or one or both of you is not really talking openly about your relationship right now. But there's a reason for that because it's like they they were attacked or something like that or they were yeah, met with a lot of conflict or drama. But this is somebody who's, who's okay. Okay, I am I'm okay for somebody. Um, I feel like somebody is telling their partner, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm not trying to hurt you, but. Neither of us have been happy for a long time. Let's see, parts two. Yeah, could be the, could be a fellow air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Like somebody is saying here, I want this to be over, and they're not taking it well. Like they're like threat making threats or. You won't get the kids, except someone's very unhappy. Someone's being very emotional. Somebody maybe even, I am getting like masculine energy here, but it's somebody who's like unexpectedly emotional, like getting, getting really upset. Queen of Swords here again. This is your energy. Why is Queen of Swords here? What is this person thinking about? What's this person thinking about? Family. They want to build a life with you. But they may see you currently involved with someone, or they're still involved with someone. Maybe they're afraid that family would not approve or accept your relationship. Like this is going to take time, but somebody wants to be free from a situation. They're really worried about family here. It's like they really want to protect the situation. Like somebody wants to make an offer to the Queen of Swords. Look at him ext extending the hand here. You know, this is about marriage. You know, some of you could be talking about long-term commitments with this person. Their feelings here, we do have the Eight of Wands. There's this urgency, this, like, we have to move forward now. Like, you know, we have to, you know, I don't want to wait anymore. Like, let's begin to plan for our future. Their feelings, it's like, I know we can't, we cannot just rush, you know, there's a process that needs to take place here. But I want to talk about the future. I want things to look forward to. Cancer enters, like, I want to make this work. Even if we don't tell other people that we're engaged or getting married or that we're together, it's like, you know, we should still move our lives forward. We don't need to put our lives on hold. It's like time for us to be happy. You are my person. You know, I want commitment with you. Their intentions, this is taking a leap of faith. This is taking a leap of faith, a new beginning. And it's going to be risky because, again, I feel like somebody was met with a lot of conflict in the past about this, like when it was kind of brought up. 
and so they stopped talking about it or they kept it to themselves. There may be children who are very unhappy about the situation. Page of Pentacles under the deck. Why is this here? Yeah, somebody's moving towards another person. Look, Queen of Pentacles here. It's like take a leap of faith. Communication here. Talking about the future, talking about, you know, engagement, partnership, marriage between the two of you. Like you're, you're both talking about getting married because you're in love. You're in love and you don't you don't want it's like it doesn't matter what anybody else has to say. They can be mad all they want to, but ultimately you both want to be happy. You love each other. There's passion, there's desire here. You both you this is two people who want to be married, who want to plan for their future. A lot of communication about this. And you know it's not gonna be easy. What they're saying is there's going to be somebody freeing themselves from a situation, but that process may take a year's time. Also, guys, if I didn't mention it already, be sure to go check out Tuesday's Tarot as well. She's a phenomenal reader. I know you guys are really gonna enjoy her messages. I am gonna link her channel in the description box below. Um yeah somebody's making a decision here it's not going to be easy doesn't really know exactly what to expect but this is somebody making an offer of commitment queen of pentacles king of pentacles because you're soulmates because you know you're supposed to be together there may be people who have a lot of negative things to say about it but i don't think that's really going to matter because the two of you want to be together like i know we're going to be faced with obstacles and challenges and it may not be the easiest thing to navigate through but this is somebody who doesn't want to give up somebody who wants genuine commitment here who wants marriage, who wants partnership, and somebody's really worried about it. Like, they know it's not going to be easy, but they do not want to give up on this relationship with you. There's a legal situation being resolved here, a process being started. Now, let's pull messages here to see what this person wants you to know about this situation. I know I made a mistake. So somebody may have told someone else prematurely early on and that really caused a lot of conflict and may have even caused things. They may have mentioned it to someone and it really knocked their confidence here in this situation in the past. Maybe that's why things didn't progress until just now. I never told, told you how much I appreciate you for loving me when I couldn't love myself. I have cried for you. I'm reminded of you constantly. I'm addicted to you. So there's somebody here who does not want to give up on this relationship. They know that there were mistakes in the past. They want to make up for that. They appreciate you. You know, you've taught them not only how to love, but how to be loved. You know, at a time where maybe they had such a hard time really loving and appreciating themselves because maybe they were in a relationship or situation where they felt so low. Maybe people told them they didn't deserve happiness. But it's like now they see things so differently and that's because of you, because of the genuine love and compassion that you showed them. You know, they've been emotional for you and they want to make this work no matter what. They know it's not going to be easy, but they're not giving up hope here. So that is what I have for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. As always, I wish you strength and I wish you many blessings. Bye-bye.